What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? I am the wizard, and PAX East 2013 is just around the corner. And you know what else is just around the corner? This beautiful no scope you're about to see. Channel I lay down nice and low, get that supreme accuracy, and I channel my optic wizard. Oh! And I try and get cocky and go for a second one. Um, that's a nice way to start off the game after missing one no scope, hit in the second, and missing the third. Um, but it's also lame because I'm using the laser today and I'm laying down. But I'm going to start, start off cheesing right there, bing bada boom, get things popping in this gameplay. As you can tell, playing some domination on the map slums. Um, I was I made a video yesterday um, to kind of stay on schedule a bit, but it just didn't turn out very good. It was over some Minecraft. Is I thought it was a little too long. It was kind of boring. Didn't really like how it ended up. So I kind of just trashed it. So here we are. Next day, trying again. Different topic. Same gameplay. Or not same gameplay. I said it was Minecraft. I was going to use this. Um, but now we're going back to it. So let's, let's do this. Um, so as you can tell by the title, and like I said, PAX East 2013 is just around the corner. In the few weeks, I think, on the 23rd. Right now, it is March 7th. Um, as you see on screen, I have my passes for Saturday and Sunday. Last year, I only went to Saturday. Um, so it's a step up, you know, doing big things here. Um, got a lot planned. I want to try a lot of new games. And, like, I didn't really try that many games last year. I didn't really know what to expect going in. So I kind of just took it all in. It was a really fun experience, though. I loved it. If you missed my PAX East coverage from last year... Um, a link to that will be on the screen somewhere. You'll see it. Um, and also, fun fact, Jericho, or II Jericho, um, he filmed the back of my shirt because on it, like, I didn't have, like, a printed shirt or anything. I had written my, uh, YouTube, or, like, sub I had, like, subscribe, uh, youtube.com slash the austere wizard and follow at Austin Wizard and he liked it and he kind of yeah he just panned over my shirt I think he pointed out to like X Jaws or someone like ah hey hey um and then I also now we're just going on pack stories this is fine though enjoy it if you if you're a new subscriber you probably haven't seen my packs video so here's a little recap uh, I remember at one point I was kind of just walking around filming uh, as all the big YouTubers had their little meetup going on with the fans. And I remember I'm just sitting there. I think it was Gold Glove was sitting next to, to Big Snacks. Yowsh, damn it. Um, and I'm, I'm just panning around. I'm looking around. And I'm enjoying all of it at the Astro Gaming booth. And um, <laughs> Snacks kind of snacks like nudges Goldie and he like looks up at the camera. Uh, it's pretty funny. I remember I wasn't exactly sure who Optic Diesel was. I kind of avoided him for some reason. It was kind of weird, awkward altercation. But I remember me and who I met, uh, Zev Hadar, um, who I've now become friends with, and he lives in Massachusetts. I live in Massachusetts. a great time. Um, who knew such a small world, right? He's a big T-Mart. Uh, T-Mart. Uh, Zev is a big T-Mart fanboy. Um, so he he practically pooped himself when he saw T-Mart. He was like, oh. Um, <laughs> But yeah, so he loves Team Art. It was great seeing all these big YouTubers. So it was me, Zev, these two other weirdos who we didn't know, Woody's Gamer Tag, and Joe Lozon. And we were kind of just standing off to the side uh, and kind of just hanging out for about an hour. We were just talking about YouTube videos and things. Now that Zev is partnered and that I am partnered um, and our channels have grown much more, his more so than mine. Uh, It'll be a much more interesting experience. I know he, some of his fans want to meet up at PAX. So if any of you guys who are watching this, besides Zev, because I know we'll meet up at PAX, um, if any of you guys are watching this, make sure you follow me on Twitter, at AustereWizard, because once PAX rolls around, I'm going to be live tweeting the shit out of that. Um, you'll see tweets of me where I'm going, what I'm looking at, what I'm playing. Um, if, I ever, if I win anything, they do a bunch of giveaways of sorts. Um, I remember last year... At the Assassin's Three Creed, Assassin's Three Creed. Wow, that is wrong. I said that. I mixed up my words. <laughs> Assassin's Creed Three booth. 
Uh, they were giving away a bunch of things for people that knew the right answers to questions based off the game. I didn't go in the line way too long, but now that I'm going to Saturday and Sunday, I think I'm going to try out most of the games on Sunday because I think less people will be there. And then Saturday will be more of the time for filming everything, getting, trying to like, interview or even just hang out with some of these big YouTubers. And then I know my man Ali the Goat and um, maybe Bobby Shakes um, will be making an appearance at PAX this year. I know Ali got his Sunday pass. That's all they had left because they were being lazy bumba clots and kept putting it off. And I constantly kept reminding them, but you know, that's what happens. You got to do what you got to do. So this is going to be an all-around amazing time. So if any of you guys want to meet up with me, follow me on Twitter and just tweet at me. Um, during PAX, I'm going to be there, like I said, Saturday, Sunday. Um, I'll make another video when it gets, like, probably a few days before PAX so more people uh, catch it. And it's more of, like, a reminder then. So I'm going to be tweeting out. will probably be arranged. Probably just meet up when the big meetups usually happen. Last year, it was 4 p.m. at the Astral Gaming booth. I imagine it'll be, like, the same sort of thing again this year. I'm actually not sure which YouTubers are going to be there, because I know White Boy's got a lot of stuff going on now that he's huge. White Boy actually didn't make it last time, um, or at least not on Saturday. Actually, I don't know what his deal was on Saturday. He was too hired, tired or hungover or something, but he didn't make it. FPS Russia was in town. He was in Boston, but um, he didn't go to PAX, which is kind of strange. Only Me Blade didn't make it. I know Keemstar said he's going this year. I, I'm pretty sure you can correct me if I'm wrong. But that's going to be awesome to meet Keem. Um, I love Drama Alert and all that stuff. He's doing Bad Trip, Amputee. It's all great. Um, it'd actually be funny if you got a booth for Bad Trip. Now that's something. That'd be That's a good idea. Keemstar, somehow you find this. Take notes, my friend. <laughs> um, and you know how everyone's always saying they're going to fight at PAX. That nothing nothing ever happens. It's, just, it's a running joke if you haven't caught on by now. But who knows? Maybe they will arrange a fight at PAX. And that would be amazing. I'll make sure I grab it. Now, last year, I filmed my footage with a terribly crappy, I think it was like 480p, flip video camera. And if you know anything about flip video cameras, they are not very good. Unless you have the nice flip HD, which uh, I think flip went under, and they don't make anything anymore. But I have this nice um, week old now iPhone, not even a week old, I think. I think I just got it on oh, Sunday, right? It sounds about right. Go back, go back and check my tweets. Uh, I tweeted out when I got it, but so I will probably I'll be filming most of the stuff on there, and I'll have I'll be going crazy on Vine. If you don't follow me on Vine, I just signed up last night. Uh, you can find me on Vine. My username is Austier Wizard. Very simple to find. Links up with my Twitter, so when I Vine something, it'll appear on my Twitter feed. So you don't have to follow me on Vine, but I'd love it if you would. Another way for us to interact. And again. As you saw earlier with the picture, that's on my Instagram, at ChefBoyRZ. So go follow me over there, too. There's just so many ways for us to interact. You know, it's just awesome. So, like I was saying, Savage Life, we're going to be representing that PAX. Um, we got a little, we're bringing cool things, lots of cool. We're going to try and get some interviews in with some smaller devs, maybe some big devs, whoever we can find. We're going to be bringing you a lot of content over there. I know I, I have said before earlier in the winter that um, production is going to start ramping up soon, uh, that didn't happen. Um, we're going, we've passed three months of inactivity, but the views are still coming in. I'm really thankful of that. We've gained and lost some subscribers, but it's just been an overall um, really great response on those videos that have been up. I think we have 11, I think 9 out of 11 videos have passed over 100 views. The only ones that haven't are... A, the unboxing of the Hardened Edition, which I uploaded, uh, and my first thoughts of Black Ops 2, which I uploaded. Those are hovering around like 60, 80 views. Maybe one day they'll just get a view spike and I'll change the tags or something like that, and they'll just bump up to, to 100. Because that'd be really cool to have all our videos over 100 views. And in one of our videos, over 10,000, which is just awesome. But I'll talk about Savage Life another day once we start uploading more. Don't go check us out at youtube.com slash savage life studios link to that is on my banner as are most of the links I direct you to that's pretty much it as you can see I've just been going full on optic this gameplay it's unbelievable final scores 37 and 17 Woo! look at that gameplay positive 20 with the sniper look at that bing bop boop the 1-2-K oh the 1-2 yeah that's what it is 
Stone Mound. Almost getting that there. Um, tell you that guy got me to end my streak. And I don't know how I didn't pick up the final kill. But that is it for me this time, guys. And until next time, Wizard out.